Hello everyone, and welcome to Tales of Vesperia, the Definitive Edition, Part 100. I am Chaos, as always. Uh, a little bit of explanation, in case you don't follow me on Twitter, about what's about to happen. So this is Part 100, it's an hour long, as expected. Uh, is there, is the Omega symbol on the back of Yuri's shirt, and I've only just now realized it? it looks like the Omega symbol. Or some really stupid horseshoe, one or the other. But, um, uh, I've already recorded the next hour of gameplay, it might... Very, it's definitely going to vary a little bit. I'm definitely going to get further this time, because every time I play something a second time, I go through it quicker, because I know what I'm doing. But, uh, I already recorded the part 100 hour-long thing, but the audio got messed up. Audacity screwed me over. So, I lost the audio. I tried many different things to recover it, and couldn't make it happen, which is very unfortunate. So, as a result, I'm now having to record it again. Thankfully, that's why I keep two save files. So, I loaded up this save file, I had to go back and do the water puzzles, and then I saved over again, so this time, as you can tell, is different. Levels might be a little different. Items might be different. I don't know. Point is, is I lost an hour and had to redo it. Uh, so I already know a little bit of what's coming up. I'm going to say, in the Part 100 thing, I fought Alexei on normal difficulty for, like, 25 minutes and lost, like, four times. This fight is ridiculous, and I hate it, and it just reinforces the fact that I really do not like the combat system in this game, especially compared to several other Tales games. Like, Tales of... Tales of the Abyss, Tales of Zillia, Tales of Berseria, a couple of Tales of Zestiria, I'm sure pretty much all of them. Graces, I think I had a little bit of trouble with, but I'm pretty sure I liked it more than this. I just enjoy the combat system, and I feel it's better in pretty much every other Tales game but this one. The combat system in this game just really does not do it for me. I know there are going to be some people in the comments who are like, oh, well, it's because you don't min-max your skills enough, and you don't learn precisely exactly how to play, and I'm like, no, I don't, because I don't like to. I don't- I play a lot of video games, and I have fun with them, and I don't sit down usually and play the same video game for, like, ten hours at a time and master exactly how to play it. You know, I'm like a jack-of-all-trades master of none, you know what I mean? So, does that mean it's more my fault than the game's fault? I don't know. I feel like there are plenty of games in existence that, uh, like Smash Brothers, for instance, where it can have really complex controls so that people who are super into the game can get really good at it and really enjoy it, but casual people like me can still enjoy the game a good deal. I feel like, uh, the battle system in Tales of Vesperia doesn't lend itself very well to casual players, and it's more so, like, you have to put a lot of time and focus and effort into the game, which I, personally, necessarily, don't really have the want or the time to do. So I'm switching the game to easy mode, at least for the Alexei fight. I might switch it back to normal after, but I'm hoping we're near the end of the game, and I'm, I really want to be done with the game, because I just, uh, I'll talk about it as we go into these upcoming cutscenes, because when I recorded the original part 100 with the, before the audio messed up, uh, a lot of stuff happens that I talk about me not liking some of it, and I'll talk about it as we go, and then, you know, hopefully we're near the end of the game, and I can just get to the credits, and then basically give my review of the game, because I have really, really soured on Tales of Vesperia for the past about, uh, five to ten hours of gameplay. It really, it boggles my mind. Like, I can understand that maybe this Tales game isn't super suited to me, and so I don't like it as much as the average person, but I don't, I really just cannot fathom how so many people see this as, like, their number one or favorite Tales game. Because, like, even, like, obviously Tales of Zillia is my favorite, and I know that's not the standard. There are people, most people like Tales of Zillia, from my experience, but not a lot of people say it's their favorite. But, like, uh, Tales of Berseria, Tales of the Abyss. It's been a long time since I played Symphonia, but probably Symphonia as well. I know that's a really common number one for a lot of people. Uh, Tales of Zillia 2, Tales of Graces. All of them, I think, are better than Vesperia. Vesperia has really uh, been letting me down story-wise, character-wise, and gameplay-wise. Not to the point where I think it's, like, a really bad game. I still think the game overall is fine, but I definitely don't see it as, like, a fantastic or really good game. I think it's just okay, but, you know, I'll talk more about that when we get to, uh, the credits of the game. But for now, we're gonna beat Alexei on easy mode. Unfortunately, it seems like there's a really big dip in between. By the way, when I fought Alexei originally, I was four levels higher. I level grinded and stuff, but I don't have time to level grind again, so I have to fight him at this level. But, um... When I fought him in part 100, after I'd switched from normal hey, to boss. easy, it's like a pretty Must big, noticeable the difference. By the way, we saw this in the last video, if I'm not mistaken, so I'm skipping it all. The, the only thing we haven't seen is the stuff after the fight, that. so then I'll There's stop no skipping gear. stuff. I didn't play some if but, uh, the what the heck no was I saying? Oh yeah, the easy mode of this game is however. really, really different from the what? normal version. Like, this Alexei does less damage, takes less damage. Or, no, he does less damage and takes more damage. It's like, the difference is huge. Are you serious? 
How very so it's, very uh... Well. I would prefer if it wasn't that big of a difference, but you know. You will... Unfortunately, this fight is gonna go from being, like, nearly impossible to fairly easy. Which is why Let's I don't go. like messing with difficulty stuff, but man, I, I've got to get this video done and uploaded, do and I need to get done with this playthrough, and I, it takes so long to level grind, because like I said, I level grind like four levels before my audio broke, and I had to redo all this stuff, and uh, the enemies around this area only give like 800 to 1,000 experience, roughly, somewhere around there, and you need like 26,000 experience per level up, so you have to do like at least 30 fights for a single level up in this game. I timed that horribly because I'm trying to talk. But, uh, stop this. Yeah, nice and demonic chaos. What, is this weakness, I think? I've seen this plenty of times because I've done this fight so much. By the way, a lot of people were telling me that they also hate this fight, and this is a pretty commonly hated fight, even by people who like this game, so that makes me feel a little bit better about switching to easy mode. Anyways, what was I saying? Oh yeah, it's like, it takes forever to level up in this game. At least in this section of the game. Because the enemies just do not give much experience. Ah, uh, here we go. Okay. Well, he's just gonna do that then. Before I can even try and dodge or anything. Yeah, see, now it, it, he's literally doing half the damage. He was doing like 2,500 damage with his Mystic Art in the uh, normal version of the game. Now it's way, way, way easier. I didn't use the thing on you, but whatever. Also, he has a healing move, just like the the Guardian Field or whatever it is that uh, Yuri does. And it's, uh, it is ridiculous. It heals him like 10,000 HP every time he uses it, and he will spam it sometimes. I hate it. So this fight is terrible, and I despise it. Easy Savage Wolf Fury. There we go. See, he was just doing it right there. It's an ice attack that hits all around him. He gets, uh, he normally gets some um, invincibility frames during it. It does a lot of damage and it heals a ton. I hate it. Yeah, this fight goes from being like near impossible to super easy when you switch to easy mode, which is unfortunate. Ah, uh, here we go again. Come on, use your Mystic Art while I'm far away. Yeah, well, we're all spread apart. Thank you. So yeah, I really don't understand. I'm really, really feeling like it's gotta be maybe not entirely nostalgia-based, obviously, because I still don't think the game is terrible. I just think it's not great. But like, I feel like quite a few people who tout this as being the number one Tales game, I think they might have a little bit of nostalgia going on. Or something, I don't know. But I really don't see, like, with the story of this game, the characters are okay, but they're not fantastic. Like, the only standout characters in my eyes are Yuri and Raven. They're both really good characters and really well done. Every other character is very, like, eh. At least for me, personally. Like, I don't really find Rita super interesting. Ah, oh, there we go. You are finished. Very well. I think that's enough for now. Now the law will give you your due punishment. You won't just get away with saying you're sorry. Obviously not, Judas. What are you talking about? Anyways, like, Rita I don't find super interesting. She's, like, super... I know that the internet, in general, is more into Sundaries than I am. But she's super Sundary, which isn't... Like, I don't mind Sundari, but if that's, like, all you have going for you, it's, like, I don't care that much. Uh, Flynn is kind of cool, but Flynn barely shows up throughout the game. He shows up for short periods of time and is like, I'm an honorable man, and then he leaves and <laughs> doesn't get a whole lot of character development. Judith is kind of cool, too, but she's, like, she's super mysterious and kind of had that going for her, but the, she, like, never stops being... It's the entire time I've known Judith, it's just been like, oh, Judith is really mysterious, and you she doesn't really do much other than be, you know, vague and whatnot. But, it, you know... It's, if that's all your character is and it never expounds upon that, it's kind of lame, I feel like. Uh, Carol is literally one of my least favorite character archetypes, which is small child who is very, like, you know, not wise to the ways of the world and treats everything like a child would, but he gets away with it because it's a video game or an anime. So, you know, Repeat is awesome, but Repeat, you know, as cool as Repeat is, it's, that's just it. He's cool, but he's a dog. He doesn't do anything really, because he's a dog, you know? I don't expect more out of Repeat, but I hear some people say, like, dude, Repeat is sick, and I'm like, yeah, Repeat's really cool, but he's not really, like, he doesn't have character, you know? He's just man's best friend, and that's it. So, the characters don't, Yuri is really cool with his sense of justice and the whole, like, killing people because he thinks it needs to go outside of the law, and then Raven and his Schwan persona and him, you know, wanting to leave his other self behind, and he's basically been dead for ten years, it's all really cool. But, outside of those two, I don't really find the, also Estelle is just, like, standard.jpg heroine princess 
shenanigans. I don't really find anything super exciting about Estelle. So I don't find the character super interesting. I think the story in this game is pretty poor, as we're about to see. I'm about to talk more about it here in a second with the cutscenes we're about to see. I don't find the story super interesting. And, um, yeah. And then the battle system itself, I just don't find incredibly fun. There are way too many invisibility frames in the game, and the way when you're doing arts, like, there are so many times where I'm using an art, and then someone else hits the enemy I'm hitting, and it pushes them out of the way of my art, and then my art continues going, so I'm standing there, like, spinning my sword around, totally vulnerable, missing the enemy, because one of my friends knocks the enemy out of my way. So, you know. I just really don't understand how this game is so well-beloved. Like, I can understand liking it, Totally. I can totally see why you'd like it. I can't see someone being like, oh yeah, this is better. I love this game more than Abyss and Zillia and Perseria and Symphonia. I, I just don't understand it. Anyways, let's continue. It's over, Alexei. Is this the top of Zauda? Is that the core? It's so big. Continued the analysis this whole time? We will witness together the might of Zaude. No! You fool! Yuri, look out! Ah! Flynn! So the sword turned against me after all. But behold. How did they get that Apatheia satellite up there? It turns out we're in the digital world, by the way. Oh, also they've summoned Il Illa. Someone please call Sinbad. Shindobado, we need you! What, what, what? <gasps> what the hell is that? I've seen that somewhere before. That. It was on the mural. The catastrophe? It's the Autophagos. That is the power of Zaude. No, but I thought... This cannot be... The Atafagos? Did you use that much air? No. This catastrophe has always waited there. Wh what do you mean? The Atafagos was never eliminated. It was just sealed off far from sight. Yes. And now it has returned to spread the ruin it once rained down upon the ancients. And to think... I caused it all. The ultimate irony. <laughs> Why is it irony exactly? 
You mean Zauda had been holding it back this entire time? Look out! We were never more than worms writhing before an approaching storm. The time has come. Our death draws near. No one can escape its doom. <laughs> Shut up already, you bastard. <laughs> I'm sure that he's over there somewhere. The Autophagos disappeared into the void. Yeah, well, guess they didn't really say they destroyed that thing. They just went off and left this piece of crap remnant behind. Uh, Flynn? Why, though? Well, that's unfortunate. Good thing that they killed off Alexei so they never have to explain any of his motives ever. Because they sure weren't doing any of that anyways. I should have saved over the other save file in case this session breaks again, but whatever. Yeah, in save, whatever. Well, Sodia stabbed us for some reason. <sighs> My room. Why? Didn't think she hated me this much. Oh. <sighs> Huh? The child of the full moon. You got stabbed on top of, like, the shrine of ultimate power, fell down into the ocean below, and then woke up in your bedroom, and your first instinct is, better read this weird book that I found next to me, instead of, like, I don't know, walking outside and trying to find your friends or something? The leaders of the ancients possessed an innate power and were called the children of the full moon. The shrine of Zaude received their lives and power. It sealed the Autophagus away, saving the world. You have awakened. Duke. So it was you who saved me. I couldn't afford to have this sword lost to the sea forever. Okay. I still owe you my thanks. Yeah, you always owe your thanks to Coffee Duke. Since he has chosen to bless this game. By saving your life for some reason. So the Shrine of Zaude was powered by the lives of the Children of the Full Moon? Humans brought forth the Autophagos and led it. Consider it... Atonement. The few remaining Children of the Full Moon, together with the Entelikea, decided on how the world would be. The Imperial Family are their descendants. So that's how the Empire started. And that's why that sword, the key to Zaude, will prove a true emperor. As long as air is used, no one can oppose the Autophagos. For it is born of air itself. What exactly does the Autophagos do? Like, how, how does it bring ruin? What does it do to the world to make things bad? You wanted to stop the Autophagos, too. That's why you were going around calming all the air crene, right? Correct. Why didn't you ask for help from the Empire or the Guilds? You could have stopped Alexei if you'd done that. I have aligned myself with the Entelikea. I have no intention of coexisting with humanity. What's more, the masses of humanity will never come to any accord. 
Wait a minute, is Duke not human? So, what are you trying to do? The Autophagos was too much, even for that ancient civilization. There is a way. You say you despise humanity, but what about us? Aren't we human? Why did you give me De Nomos? Why did you cooperate? You were the only ones who even attempted to communicate with the Entelechea. That is why. Never mind, it is done. Wait, what are you gonna do? I will protect our world, our Terka Lumares. Hold on! Ugh, damn it! Alright, we finally lost Dane Nomos, and then we get this sick sword instead, the second star. Basic katana. Um... Is Duke also a child of the full moon? Maybe? I don't know. I wonder if the game will ever explain it to us. No telling. This game doesn't really seem like much of the explaining type, in my experience. We are back in the lower quarter, though. Huh? Wait a minute. Yuri, you're holding your stab wound? Are you telling me that Duke fished you out of the ocean and saw you bleeding out from your side and was like, eh, it'll probably buff out? What's wrong? Oh. Yuri? Estelle? Repeat? Yuri! Ouch, hey, hold on a sec. Yuri, it's really you, right? You're not a ghost or something. Oh, good, you have a shadow. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah, I'm living, and yeah, that hurts. Thank goodness, I'm so happy. Repeat just rushed out all of a sudden. I was so surprised. Yeah, it seems like Repeat and maybe Duke are the only people, aside from Yuri, that get anything done in this game. Thanks. I'm fine now. Is that wound from when you fell from Zauda? Huh? Oh, yeah. I guess so. I can't tell you how happy I am. Sorry to make you worry. I want to go tell everyone. They'll be so happy. What's everybody doing? Rita went to Zauda with Judith. She said there was a lot to study, being ancient ruins and all. That's Rita. Patty's helping out with repairs on the Fiertia, too. Carol and Raven went back to Dongrest. It seems that relations between the Empire and the guilds are worsening again. Whoever could have guessed... How long has it been since I got stabbed on the Shrine of Zade? Exactly? You want to, like, give me an explanation? Like, have I been out for, like, a couple of hours, a couple of days, a week? What is the Autophagos doing right now? Are they still like that? Supposedly, it's because of Zaude. They went to make sure the guilds didn't do anything rash. First Heracles, then that. Guild or not, people are going to be on guard. It's troubling Yoder as well. And Flynn is being Flynn and going off to all corners of the world. Everyone's working hard. They thought they should do what they can, even without you. Yeah. Because we knew. We knew you were alive. Hmm. Even Flynn took ships out to look for you so many times. What, uh, how long have I been missing? What is the time skip between fighting Alexei and this moment? Because, like, you know, Yuri still had his wound and all, so it couldn't have been too long. But you make it sound like Flynn has gone out every day for a month trying to find Yuri in the ocean. I'm so sorry. But thanks to you, I'm all fixed up. Uh, thanks to Duke? I mean, she had a part in healing the actual wound, but my boy Duke is the one that saved you? How dare you disrespect him like this? No one disrespects Coffee Daddy like that. You should still rest today. Rita, Carol, they can all wait a little longer to see you. <laughs> As you wish. All right, well, Yuri is now our survivor, and we've reunited with the party. Well, some of the party. And we get fully healed. Good day, good day. 
Oh, we're back in Yuri's room now for some reason. After his all day. Estelle, repeat. Sorry to worry you. We were stuck on top of Zauda. We couldn't get down. But Flynn and all the rest of the knights managed to help us. Huh. Sounds like everyone had a pretty rough time. But we're all safe now. All of us. I'm so happy. The air crisis, Duke, the autophagos. We still got a mountain of problems to deal with. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Wait a minute. Did you say Duke? Why is Duke a problem? I wasn't paying enough attention. Anyways, because I saw that skip before, but, uh, like I said, I'm still, we're still not caught up. I'll let you know when we've got to where the original part 100 ended, but I'm now having to redo it because of the audio issues. I think we get a cutscene right here. Yeah. Alexei unleashed something terrible. Yeah, can we, like, talk about that? Alexei was obviously surprised that he unleashed the Autophagos, and he was trying to do something. There's some kind of changing the world, like he wasn't cool with what the Empire was doing, so he's trying to change that somehow by using Zade. I don't really understand how, but like, and then he like went insane after he realized it, was like, oh, we're all just gonna die, there's no doom, we can escape, and then he cried for some reason, and said he was the biggest fool of all, like, could they have taken literally 20 minutes in this game to flesh out Alexei at all as a character? Because he was just basically, like, rip-off Van, because he had kind of the same motivation. Maybe not the motivation, but the same end goal as Van did, except way worse. <laughs> like, and by way worse, I mean it was done incredibly terribly. Like, I, I really don't understand. Like, this whole Alexei, you know, quote-unquote arc of this game is about the worst thing, like, the worst story narrative thing I've seen in a Tales of game. And I played Tales of Zestaria, so that's saying something. I'm tired of all this freeing the world nonsense. Freeing the world from what? How was he freeing the world? Just what is the Autophagos? That's what I want to know! Who knows? A catastrophe. It can't be anything good. <sighs> Guess I get to fight a big one this time. It certainly is. So, you're going after it? Can we see it in the sky? It doesn't look like I'll have a normal life if I don't. A normal life. For everyone. That's why we fight. Yeah, that's enough, right? Yes, it is. I thought I heard a familiar voice. Oh, it's really you. Thanks, everybody. Don't go taking that young lady around everywhere. She must be tired. What do you mean? Estelle, were you using your power? She fixed up every wounded person who came back. We're all in her debt. If there's anything else I can do, please let me know. Nice to see the lower quarters back to normal. It'd be perfect if only that thing in the sky weren't there. So we can see it in the sky. Don't worry. Leave it to brave Vesperia. There you go again. And just how are you going to close up that hole in the sky? Hey, if anyone can do it, Yuri can. Anyone got some duct tape? Yeah, he never makes promises he can't keep. That's far enough. Now you, what do you want? <laughs> I say, take a look at this. Huh? A warrant? For me? Just Yuri? I say a knight's duty is to apprehend the unlawful. So I'm the only one with a bounty on my head? Nobody else? That has nothing to do with the matter at hand. <clears throat> we have a proposal. Return to the knights, and this all goes away. What? Someone high up is making a fuss about leaving you to do as you please, so... You'd feel better putting the reins on me. Now you've got the idea. <sighs> hey, Swan! What? Where? <laughs> hey, wait! <laughs> I love it. So long, everyone. Take care! 
just as I thought, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Let's go! Arrest that man! <laughs> Look, Schwan, he's over there! <laughs> this hill's pretty brutal. Those knights are amazing. They are tenacious. Yuri! Whoa, Patty. Where did you come from? Yuri, thank the seven seas. I knew you were still alive. Get the, hold up and answer the question. You just fell out of the sky. Yep, still kicking. Somehow. Oh. Huh? Judith! Estelle, I just came to get you. Where's Rita? Rita's in Ospio, putting together all of her research. You'll come too, right? How long was Yuri out? That's all I want to know. Yeah, if you don't mind me catching a ride. Then let's go. Sorry to make you worry, Judy. My heart was about to burst from worrying so much. Yeah, right. Hey. I really mean it. Wait! Not again. Just once. Just once I want to take it easy when I leave someplace. The LeBlanc and his men are, like, really slow. Estelle's in high heels, and, like, she didn't have that much of a head start on him. How are they so far behind? Good luck chasing them now. Goodbye, knights. Get back here! <laughs> Alright. We still got a little bit to go before we're caught up with where I was before. So, like, I don't understand the Autophagos. The Autophagos is making these lines go across the world, but I can't see the Autophagos itself. I don't know if it's because of my positioning in the world or, like, the camera angle. But, like, what, what terror is the Autophagos causing? And what are these stretches across the sky, and where's the Autophagos itself? I'm so confused. The Autophagos awakens. Seeing the Autophagos just there in the sky, it's horrible. Yeah. To think that catastrophe from the legend was hidden up there all along, it's creepy. It just showed up in the sky out of nowhere. All the people must be so worried. I'd rather see what we're up against than let it grow out of control somewhere hidden away. Your spirit is amazing, Judith. It might be a good thing to have the danger right out in front of us, though. It'll bring together people who'd never get along otherwise. True. When you can no longer deny the Autophagos exists, all that's left is to face it. You're right. Yeah, you're totally right, Judith, as always. Anyways, uh, we need to go to Ospio to pick up Rita, which is over this way past Halur. I still don't really understand what the problem with the Autophagos is. What is, what is the Autophagos doing? Is it going to, like... Explode? Is it gonna blow up the world at some point if we just leave it there? Like, what what catastrophe does it cause? Other than giving us those sick, uh, swirly things in the sky. Speaking of those things in the sky, it reminds me of, I'm pretty sure it was in Tales of Graces, their planet had uh, rings similar to that around it. It was really nice. Eureka! Oh, Rita, Yuri is... She's so fast! We're more invisible to her than a camouflaged cuttlefish. It seems like she's blind to everything but her research right now. I can't really blame the people here for treating her like such a weirdo. She looked so happy. She must have discovered something. I hope so. Let's go and see. Yeah, let's get it. Patty's treasure hunt. I'm really glad to see you're still breathing, Yuri. Sorry that I made you look for so long. First treasure hunt, was it? Estelle was the first one who found him, though. Right. So, alas, we were delayed. Are you really treating me like some pretty bobble to be picked up? You're the treasure I've always been looking for. Oh, now that's true on multiple levels. No special meaning. I mean what I said. Indeed. You are all treasures to me. And now we're off on another treasure hunt? Exactly. We'll have to be quick and be sure nobody gets to our loot before us. I. What is the metaphorical treasure in this treasure hunt? Are we, like, treasure hunting the Autophagos? I don't get it. 
Rita, we're home. How you doing? Hmm. We should be able to calculate the force field stability coefficient. So... Rita? We can make a key formula. Efficiency is okay. Making a stable non-dispersing piece should be... Hey, Rita. What? Don't bother me! Huh? Oh, it's you. How did you get into... Wait, you're... Hi. Where the hell were you? I looked all over for you, you know. Ah, uh, sorry about that. Well, whatever. I don't have time to argue about that. I have something very important to talk to Estelle about. To Estelle? I may have found a way to control the behavior of air. Really? That's great, Rita! I learned lots of things when I investigated Zaude. Like, how we might be able to apply the techniques used there. However, that is related to Estelle's power as a child of the full moon? We need to interact with the air to make it recombine freely according to a formula. This is something only Estelle can do. If only I hadn't given De Nomos back. What do you mean, given De Nomos back? Duke saved you from drowning and then took the sword back because it was his in the first place. You only had it on, like, it was lent to you. You were borrowing it. Duke took it back. Did you meet Duke? Yeah, he saved me. Well, he said it was so he could recover the sword. That sword's different from the Child of the Full Moon. I doubt it could be a substitute. But that control formula you used on Estelle, that was to control the power of the Child of the Full Moon, wasn't it? Yeah. So if we're going to control the air with this theory, we have to release the control formula on Estelle. So, if everything goes right, we control the air. Wait, what do you mean when you say control the air? Like, the air is all in the air around us, right? Like, it just exists in the world? You're, like, gonna control all the air in the universe somehow? But if we screw up, the air will get even worse, and the world will fall to the Autophagos. Also, what does it mean to fall to the Autophagos? What does that mean? What is the Autophagos gonna do? Is that about right? That's quite a bold plan. I. it's a plan as bold as jellyfish stuck in shallow waters. Uh, sure. Let's go with that. Anyway, I'm sure it'll be fine. Estelle, believe me. Lend me your power. <sighs> Are you scared? No, I'm happy. I might still be able to use my power to help others. Rita, please let me know if there's anything I can do. So what exactly do we need to do? Well, I'm not completely finished working everything out. Give me a little more time. Okay, we'll go see Carol and Raven while you figure things out. Great! I'll go too. I've got all the materials I need in my head. I'll let you know when I work it all out. All right, me hearties! Let's get going! You really want people to remember you're a pirate, don't you? Alright, got Rita back. Now we're just missing uh, Carol and Raven, and I guess Flynn. Glad you're safe women. Ooh, if he was safe, the least he could have done is let us know. That idiot. Yeah, if we'd known he was okay, we wouldn't have wasted all this time looking for him. But we wouldn't have known he was all right if we hadn't looked. Which is why he should have let us know in the first place. I mean, we looked all over. We'd be too worried about him if we hadn't. You were really worried, weren't you, Rita? What? Thank goodness you're safe, Fury. Yes, I'm so glad. And just look how happy Rita is. Ha! <laughs> Are you happy? What do you mean, why didn't he tell you? Did, they, did Yuri not say, like, oh, yeah, sorry, I was gone, you know? I uh, got stabbed, fell off of the giant tower into the ocean, and was unconscious for however long the period of time is that they refused to tell us. Like, you guys are acting like, oh, why didn't you just send us a letter? He was out cold! He couldn't do anything. You mad women? It's madness. How much time am I at? About 40 minutes. Okay, so we still got about 20 minutes left. We're almost caught up to where I was beforehand. We're gonna have a couple of cutscenes in Dongrest, which is where we need to head next to pick up the others. And uh, then we'll be caught up, basically. 
and I'll still have probably about 10 more minutes to go a bit further. Read his research. A method for controlling the air, huh? I hope it goes okay. Yeah. If it doesn't, we'll have to keep our end of the bargain with Pharaoh. <sighs> so shouldn't we stop it right away? There's no real hurry. I'm sure they'll do fine. Yeah, they can handle this. <laughs> I have faith in them now. <laughs> Yo, there's another good question. Where the heck is Pharaoh, and what the heck is he doing right now? Climb down. There you go. Just press next, it wouldn't go down. Don't you dare. I'm busy. All right, then. Bow, bow, bow. I do like the music of, uh... Whatchamacallit? Of Dongrest. Really fits. Damn it! Why did I have to do it? That was the Dawn's grandson, Harry, right? Oh yeah, that's a character that exists. No! Yuri! I can't believe you! You should have told me you were alive! Did none of you idiots... Like, Yuri, all you gotta do is be like, yeah, I was unconscious. My bad. Like, what are all these idiots going? Every single one of them is like, why didn't you just let me know you were alive? Oh, uh, I was stabbed in the side and unconscious in the ocean. Th maybe that's why? Sorry for worrying you. But I'm back. Well, aren't you tough? <laughs> that's my boy. Hey, I said Yuri was my boy first. I ain't handing him over to you, Patty, darling. Raven is a better character, so he gets him by default. If you're both done messing around, we just saw Harry. Did something happen to him? Uh, there's been just a teensy bit of trouble. The Union's kind of a ship without a captain right now. So the people won't come together unless there's some kind of core. Core! That's it! What's it? Do you mean to, like, do you mean to tell me Miss 5000 IQ, perfect genius here, didn't think of a core? Did this whole game not start with us looking for a core? Or a Blastia to go in a core or something? I was under the impression that all of these devices worked with a core and a Blastia working together as one. You mean to tell me that Rita was going through all these, like, oh, how on earth can I control the air and do this thing? She never once thought, mm, what's the basic item that we use to control Blastia in the first place? Mm, a core? Or that powers it is a core? I don't exactly know the science behind it, but I know the word core is thrown around a lot. And this stupid idiot who is apparently a genius didn't think of a core until just now? Are you kidding me? I've got it. Apatheia. It'll work if I use Apatheia. Apatheia, the super important thing that we've been talking about in this game for the past, like, 15 hours. You never once thought of using Apatheia until right now? So even if the air stability coefficient keeps changing, if I connect one of those... Hold on, forget the explanation. We wouldn't understand it anyway. Uh, yeah, you know what, Yuri? I feel like you're literally just taking words from the developers right now. There, there are some developers sitting in a room, writing down the story and for this game, and then one of them was like, there, that's how it happens. And then another developer was like, all right, yeah, you know, it's a little bare bones, but like... How are we, uh, how do we explain Alexei's motivation or what Alexei does or anything? Oh, forget the explanation. We, they wouldn't understand anyway, so just don't put in an explanation. You, uh, you sure that's a good idea not to explain any of the story or, like, give the villains any kind of background or, uh, anything like that? Yeah, you know, don't worry about it. No one will question it. Just, uh, just, uh, don't even think about it. They wouldn't understand, so don't even give it to them. Oh, Okay. The apatheia we gave to the Don should still be around, right? That was Bellius's apatheia, the Cyanosiel. The Don and Bellius, those were some mildly interesting characters that, you know, were important for like, what, two hours of gameplay and then they both died? Good, good times. Rita's found a way to control air. Really? Cool! Do you know what happened to the Cyanosiel after the Don died? Um... What about Harry? Shouldn't he know, being the Don's grandson and all? My thumb twitched and I skipped Raven saying, Nope, I'm sorry. Good timing, too. I was just about to take him back. Go to the Union headquarters. We'll be back there soon.
All right, we're very nearly back to where I was, so it'll be back to me not knowing what's happening here in a second. I mean, even now, I still don't know what's happening per se, but it'll be back to me not knowing the upcoming cutscenes. You know. The atmosphere is kind of strange. Yeah, the Union is falling apart. Because nobody wants to step in to take the Don's place. And the Don's heir ain't quite up to it. Come on, don't hang back now. I was the one who led Grandpa to his death. Someone like me could never become a man like the Don was. Nobody's saying you gotta become a man like the Don was. We're just saying you should at least show up to the succession meetings. Hey, do you have the Don's epithea? We'd appreciate it if you could give it to us. Wow, that was quite a fastball, Rita. Yeah, there's some kind of death demon catastrophe in the sky doing who knows what. We don't really have time to just, you know, beat around the bush here, Carol. That epithea belongs to whoever succeeds the Don. It's not given to outsiders. What? Well, when will they choose a successor? I don't know. Don't ask me. Well then, who should we ask? That boy's a real piece of work. Who's gonna protect the city if the Union isn't? What? That would be our guild, of course. Talking of whose guild? I know that you sent in your Clouds of Dawn members to Zod. The Union has never been outstripped by the Empire. We cannot sit here and risk falling behind. I say it was imprudent. It could have been taken as the Union's hostile act against the Empire. In that case, we would defend our honor on the battlefield. And who will be leading the battle? The Clouds of Dawn? If the Dawn got wind of that, he'd burst out laughing. So why don't you boys in Altos throw your hat in the ring? Maybe then we'd see just how unpopular you really are. This is ridiculous. Continue as you please till the world comes to an end. But don't bring up a war between the guilds. This isn't a joke. Hey, I've got a great idea. Let's just set a bit of driftwood in the Dawn's chair. Yeah, you know, and then if you just give no explanation, it'll work out. That's how this game has gone so far. A hard existence being worn down by the waves lends it the exact same air of dignity. My, how ingenious. Yeah, you just keep talking. It's all right to be helped by your friends. Protect your friends and they'll respond in kind. That was the last thing that the Dawn said to me. Carol. What? Who's this kid? I can't do anything by myself, but I have my friends. Because my friends are there for me. I can do anything. They're still there for me, even now. Why isn't that good enough for the Union? The boy is right. The best thing that the guilds ever had was their ability to help each other. There is always a way to deal with things, even if you aren't some great big leader. The Don told you that from now on, you have to walk with your own feet. You know how to walk on your own feet, don't you? Uh, what do you... You just got done saying... You have to have your friends to help you to have power. And then Yuri immediately says, do it by yourself, walk on your own feet. Literally, you both just said the exact opposite things as if they complimented one another. You make it sound so easy, but actually... Let's go. I'm gonna get sick if I have to stay here any longer. Yeah, let's go, before they can point out how that's uh, very childish to think that just the power of friendship would work out all of the political issues here. So, uh, you know, let's leave before they can poke many holes in my theory. I don't want to hear it. We don't do explanations around here. Hey, you, wait up! <sighs> if only it were that simple. What about the apatheia? If you've got enough spare time to be hanging around those idiots, you'd be better off using it to think of another plan. What is it wrong? Just steal it! Steal it! The fate of the world is at stake! Find it and steal it, you madmen! What is wrong with you? Another plan? 
It's not that easy. You'll be able to come up with something if you just don't sleep for three days. Ah, oh, yes, of course. Why is it on me? Here. Are you giving this to us? No, this is going to be stolen. At least someone is, like, using at least half of their brain cells in this scenario. Good job, Harry. Good job. What do you mean? I owe you one. Get a move on before the others realize it's gone. To what do we owe this generosity? I don't know. Maybe it just left a bad feeling in my stomach to get lectured by a kid like that. Maybe there's some hope for that boy after all. So, now that we've gotten the Apathea, what's next? Next up, we're going to the Zophair Rift. I'm going to use the unactivated air crene that's there. The Rift? We're going someplace cold again? Mind if old Raven waits here? You'd rather be cold than have the world be destroyed, wouldn't you? Let's go. I don't know, man. Raven really doesn't like being cold. Hey! Glad Yuri's safe, men. I'm so glad Yuri's okay. Horror! Are you kidding? The Atafagos, the whole world going nuts? There's no way that kid would miss this. You weren't worried, Raven? Eh, maybe just a little. But guys like him keep getting up, no matter what happens, so... Nah, I wasn't too worried. <laughs> you really believe in Yuri, don't you, Raven? Horror! Aw, oh, you're gonna make this old man blush. <laughs> Okay, now we're at the point where the original Part 100 ended. Except I hadn't watched that skit. I actually ended Part 100 before when I got when that skit unlocked, and I said I would do it next time. But obviously this time I have time to do it right now. Hello! I need to refill all of my items, because this was also something I did when I was level grinding, and I've realized right now that I, uh, obviously that part of the save file it no longer exists, because I had to reset due to uh, that one session messing up. There we go. Okay, cool. So, I still got about eight-ish minutes. I guess we're going to go to the Zofia Rift and see what happens. I might actually wrap this up at around, like, 55-ish minutes. You know, a little under an hour, because I feel like we'll have cutscenes going on once I get to the Zofia Rift. And I don't have that much time left. And we've gotten a lot accomplished anyway. So, you know, seems like it might be the right call. The Zophir Rift is the icy place where we had to do that one-on-one -on -one fight with Carol, right? Pretty sure. So I'm going to want to enter it from the side closer to the air crane, which is going to be the right side over here behind Ospio. Can you land here? Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Leave me alone. No, no, no. God dang it. Whatever. This like fun. What is with this music? The music is sick. I'm still on easy mode, aren't I? I should probably change that. Ariel. Uh, I think I'm gonna try, if I have the time, to do some level grinding. I don't have a whole lot of time to use, though. A change of pace. You sure do like walking around outdoors. Who are you talking to? <laughs> just myself. Going senile now, huh? We've just been wandering around outside for quite a while now. It might be a nice change of pace sometimes to collect materials for synthesis. And we have Baul, too. We could use him to fly around and collect them a lot faster. You're saying we should get help from Baul? Yeah, I think that Baul probably wants to help all of us with what we're doing. Of course, it's your call whether to collect materials for synthesis or just wander around. Seriously, who are you talking to? <laughs> Did Raven really just break the fourth wall? That's what it seems like. Okay, so here's where I want to go in. Yeah, this is Zophir. This is where they just said I needed to go, right? Zo the Zophir Rift? Hold up. Where's the synopsis thing? Whoops. Is this where I need to be? Synopsis. Humanity's legacy. 
That to the Seattle Crystal from the private chambers of Don Whitehorse was reported this evening. The late Union leader was entrusted with the item on the occasion of the demise of Bellius. Ravis Barry Guild is under suspicion. Harry, the grandson's, the Don's grandson and successor, is said to have no intention of pressing charges in the matter. Last seen heading for the Zophia Rift, Bravis Barry is rumored to be using the stolen object in an experiment designed to forestall the coming apocalypse. Well, it says Zophia Rift. This is the blade drift of Zophia. She did say that she wanted to mess with the air crane, right? The air crane is right here. So, uh, dang it, bird. I think I am going to wrap this part 100 up just slightly early. My apologies. I hope you can uh, forgive me for it. But uh, it's still basically an hour. Please be dead. I think this is a really good spot to stop anyways. I'm probably going to... I don't know where... Like, how much experience do I get from killing these enemies? By the way, even on easy mode, these guys still have so much HP. My goodness. Feels like it takes ages just to kill a single enemy. Also, Flynn is gone again. Rip. So we're back to uh, my boy Repeat taking his place, because Repeat is great. The sign of victory. Uh, you give like a okay. thousand experience. That's pretty much as good as uh, Zade was doing. So I might level grind here on the... Uh, oh, you know what? Yeah, let's do another skit. I got time. It seems that the Union is still in disarray. They relied on the Dawn for too much. They're probably scared without the guy who used to decide everything for them. I think I know how they feel constantly worrying whether or not you're about to make some big mistake. Well, I can't understand being so afraid of messing up that you can't decide anything. Wow, I agree with you for once. The Union has to do a lot of thinking for themselves now that they're without the Dawn. Isn't that how it should be? Absolutely. <laughs> wow, you guys are like incredibly not millennials if you have no worry about, you know, not worrying about possibly making a mistake when you have to make a decision. You know? I have trouble with that, personally. So, uh, you know, a lot of people do, from my understanding. Anyways, that's gonna be all for today. I'm gonna try and level grind up at least a little bit and then go back to normal mode. I think that, I think you get the same amount of experience on easy mode that you do on normal mode, so I'll probably leave it on easy mode to get the experience. And then once I'm at, like, level 47 or something, I'll... I don't, what level was... Alexei, like, like 54? So I'll probably try and get near level 50, but man, level grinding in this game is so tedious. At least in my experience. But I'll try and level up at least a little bit, and then we'll go back to normal difficulty. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. When we come back next time, we'll be uh, at part 101, so it'll be back to 20-minute videos. And we're going to go to the air crane here in the Zofia Rift and see what the heck we can do to stop the Autophagos from doing whatever it is the Autophagos is doing. I still don't really understand what the problem is, but, you know, evil black thing in the sky must be stopped. That's about all there is to it, I guess. So I'll catch you all next time, and until then, farewell.